It's your boy Tyler, the gentleman. I got my homie Element, aka Bogar B. Bogar B. Try not to yell too much in the mic because I know feedback. <laughs> Whatever that stuff is. <laughs> but hey, man, we just here and we just we just realized that um, what's the guy's name? Oro Oh yeah, latest chapter. Yeah, yeah. Latest chapter. Orochi just got his head chopped clean off. Smooth. Smooth. Real smooth. Yo, he looked at that man and said, seeing as this is a 4-4 Magnum, <laughs> and could blow your head clean up. He didn't even say all that. He just... Shring! Yeah, right? <laughs> I was like, oh... He didn't say nothing, man. bro. He was just like, I don't want to hear it. Yo, he was tired of that man with them teeth. I was tired of them teeth, too. <laughs> Always talking. The ghosts are going to get us. The ghosts are going to get us. I'm sick of these ghosts. Oh man, your teeth is gonna get us. <laughs> Yo, facts, facts. His teeth couldn't get each other. Yeah. <laughs> That's wild. He could fit a whole sandwich through his teeth. <laughs> Yo, his teeth had a straight up divorce, falling hey, out. Yo, <laughs> two separate parts of the house. Yo. That's wild. That's some savagery right there. You know, big strong Kaido. He has a daughter that we thought was a dude. That we thought was a dude. Pretends to be a dude. Mm-hmm. Save Luffy. Well, we gonna call her a she. She's doing her. She's thing. doing her thing, and she saved Luffy. So mm-hmm. that was clutch. Mm-hmm. And uh, thought that was cool because Luffy always into some trouble. Facts. And then Luffy starts fighting her afterwards. Yeah, she had to call him hard headed. She knew who he was right away. Mm-hmm. Right like, away. Acting just like uh, Momo's dad. What you Facts. Think? She did call him on that. She's yeah. like you're more Odin than Odin than me. Because that's uh. That's real. Mm-hmm. Luffy just just headstrong, just goes head down into stuff. He thinks you could beat everything with brute force, and that's not it. <laughs> you would think that after Silver's rally, uh, uh, taught him everything, you know. I think after the one shot too, the Kaido, blah, oh, blah. yo, he <laughs> yo when he hit Kaido the first time though, yeah. I said, oh, I thought he had him for a little bit. I ain't gonna lie, I Kaido was couldn't... looking like, wait, you know, I'm yo, rocking a little fix. bit. So I knew they couldn't let him beat him right then and there. Hell no. Imagine they ended Wano right there off one punch. Nah. This ain't one punch, happen. man. But I really thought that he would have at least been like, oh, this kid's kind of strong or something. Yeah, something cool. But he was like, you? Come on, bro. I'm dr- I'm too drunk for this. Yeah. Yo, he was drunk. He was drunk. He was drunk. He was super drunk. That's that drunken boxing for you. True. You know who's really good at drunken boxing? Drunken master stuff. Jackie Chan? In that True. one movie? You know, <laughs> must yeah. be a good life. I'm sure, man. Jackie Chan got all types of styles. Sipping on that sake. Yeah, man. Oh, oh, big mom pirates. Let's talk about it. Bro. How talk many about... times are they going to fall down a hill? <laughs> First off. Jack and Jill. Jack and Jill. So... right? Yo. Humpty Dumpty ass pirates. <laughs> Humpty <That's>... Dumpty pirates. <laughs> the Humpty Dumpty pirates. <laughs> That's funny. Bro, you got the Humpty Dumpty Pirates, and then you got the Beast Pirates. The Savage, hum- yo, bro. best pirates yet. Yeah, I gotta say, I gotta just the name. I mean, even the name, and they lived up to it, bro. Yo, like, the Hundred Beast Pirates. Like, you know what did Kobe say? Can you be the same beast, different animal, or same animal, different beast? Yeah, yeah. Yo, they got a lot of different beasts. A lot of different beasts. So mm-hmm. we we got yeah we got the 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 Big Mom Pirates man, and I'm thinking. Okay, so Perispero is about that life. That's Perispero. the one with the hat. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. But he's about to do some crazy stuff. He's gonna do some crazy. Saying. He's about that life. He's about to start a whole nother war. He's about to, yeah. And he might not wait to start it. He looked like he's trying to do something now. And if he doesn't wait, that could be bad for Big Mom and him. For sure. He's like, very he's headstrong too. He need to know when to chill and to wait for the right moment. But he doesn't like to wait. He just looking for the glory. He, he did he, it for the glory. <laughs> He think he the next one up, man. Nobody Ew. told him to- categories nope. around. Yo, what's his power again? Candy. Boy, <laughs> if you don't get your sweet self somewhere, <laughs> I'm gonna candy you to death. I'm gonna give you cavities. Yeah. He like he like a reverse version of that boss from uh, Kids Next Door, the dentist. Yo, <laughs> that's I how he is. Seen that in He's age. like a reverse version of him. What's the other dude's name? The dog dude, dog tooth. Yeah, Katakuri? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Dog yeah. Tooth is a problem. I wonder if he's coming back. You he think, has to, Or is he to, just I taking think. a break? So here's the thing. I think that... Well, all right. So a lot of people theorizing that 
if if the big mom pirates come on board mm-hmm. and with Kaido, mm-hmm. that there's gonna be a faction that ain't that ain't with it mm-hmm. because some of them are with it and some of them aren't. Like you got the blindly loyal ones, right? Like like mm-hmm. smoothie. You know, yeah, yeah, Mondor, whatever. All the people that's just always big mom, big yeah. Mom. And even Mondor, like he, he kind of thinks for himself too. He doesn't really follow directions all the time. Yeah. But and then you got the other crowd that really likes Luffy. Like you know, you got um, Katakuri, obviously. You got he earned um, his respect. He earned his respect. You got Pudding, obviously he helped him escape. Mm-hmm. You got the Mirror World chick. What's her name again? Yeah, let's not even talk about her. I don't but, like her but face. she's on. She's she is she really on our side? She, though? She's not on our side, but she's not against us. I don't think. I'm saying us like we in Luffy's. Yeah, crew I shit, feel but. like you know we're a piece of the crew. Wano piece yeah, pirates. Yeah, yeah. You know, we're like uh, yeah, we're like the um the barrier man. Yeah, yeah. We're like <laughs> we're like we got we got signed up. You know, we sell we sell Luffy t shirts. Yeah, yeah, true. You true. know what I mean? We got yeah. our Jolly Roger kind of looks like his Grand Fleet. Yeah, yeah. yeah we're yeah. in Luffy Grand yeah. Fleet. You know, mm-hmm. the, the, the straw hat Grand Fleet. I paid him royalties for that hat though. Hey, yo, okay. <laughs> sex, <laughs> yo. Yeah, man. Like, I really think the Big Mom Pirates are going to fracture. And it's pretty much written on the wall that, like, some people think Katakuri should be leading already. Mm-hmm. And some people just follow the Big Mom blindly. Like, Smoothie, her whole thing. And I was watching, like, a thing with Joy Boy, too, about, like, I think it was Joy Boy who was talking about how Smoothie's character is all about, like, the reason she's been ineffective is because she's younger. Mm. Right? So it's like you got the older group. Who are more self sufficient, like Candyman, right? Like uh, Katakuri. Candyman. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and the older gra- the older group, you gotta think about it. He put this together really dope. Shouts mm-hmm. to Joy Boy. Um, he was basically like, yeah, if you think about it, the older children yeah. had to put in more work back in the day, so they had to be self sufficient oh, yeah, to, build it, to build it up. Wow. And then the young ones, like Smoothie, I think she's only like twenty five, whereas Katakuri's forty something. Uh, Brulee the mirror chick she's Brule, older yeah. right you got uh, Oven and all those characters who've shown that they are self sufficient Montdor they're all in their 40s they were they were the ones setting up mm-hmm. whereas the young ones like the little bug chick I don't mm-hmm. know I don't know the one that was interfering with Katakuri's yeah, fight yeah he's on the way she was they're dumb the way, they're yeah. like all spoiled you know mm-hmm. smoothie they, all they've had is Whole Cake Island right they, they've been in Whole Cake Island for 20 years mm grew up there and they everything. grew up there and everything pampered so I, I i noticed that that was a like a keen yeah, observation cause like even um dog two from brulee used to like stop people from bullying them. exactly you know it wasn't I mean? set yeah. up back then now yeah. nobody's getting bullied. ain't nobody bullying nah. none of them none of kids. them nah and you know sanji's still in love with that girl yeah pudding pudding's gonna come back sanji i can't believe you treated i feel me like, like pudding and pudding likes him so that's like one of the rare times i think outside of violet violet was from, uh, oh, oh, from uh, Dress Rosa. Yeah, from Dress Rosa. And she, uh, she, uh, cause she could see everything, right? That's yeah, the one that could the, see, everything. see everything. She likes Sanji too. Yeah, yeah, she was thinking like she wasn't. Yeah, but that's all part of the act. She was feeling the Sanji, kid. you know. She see, come on kid. now. That's why they call me Ty Little Gentleman, man. Cause you know, I'm just, you know, just smooth with it, man. I'm just trying to be Sanji <laughs> to the ladies, man. I know I got green hair like Zoro, but still, I got a little Sanji. In me. A little bit of both. You Best of me? both worlds. Yeah. Come through, kick it. Kick it. Mm-hmm. Talk about the one piece. <laughs> Come on, girl. Let me show you the one piece. Oh, Lord. Ah, That's not what I meant. That's not what I meant. Kid, it's a kid's channel, That's bro. not what it's I meant. Kids, I didn't mean show you the one piece like that. I meant like, <laughs> like you know, if I were to find the one piece before yeah, Luffy, yeah. you know, I'd give it to him. He'd have captain and everything. True, true. But I'd be like, I would show a shorty first. Like, yo, look, it's the one piece. And just my luck, it would be some shorty that's trying to get up in the ranks. Of course. Look at this. Yeah. See Just if they recognize it. See if they know what's up. Does anybody recognize the yeah. One Piece? I don't know. Mm. See, that's the thing. See if they did their research mm. and they knew how to read Poneglyphs, maybe they would. Maybe they would know what it is. I ain't learning to read that. That's an <laughs> archaic language. <laughs> I'm definitely down. If, if there was like a, if there was Duolingo for like Poneglyphs, I'll do it. But I don't, I can't just be sitting Rosetta here. Rosetta Stone. Yeah, you know what I mean? I can't be sitting here trying to learn how to read that. Talking about, Nico Robin, you actually translated that wrong. Mm-hmm. It says, Sky Island, not <laughs> Island in the Sky. <laughs> yeah, man. You know, I think this chapter with the New World Order, the 
the mm-hmm. new Onigashima. It was like, yeah, I know Orochi's probably not dead, dead, right? That's what I was thinking because too. he got mad heads, right? Yeah. So everybody's talking about like, okay, a lot of people in the community talking about he's got a lot of heads. Either the Yamato no Orochi, his fruit with the eight heads, he's got seven more heads. That might be the case. That probably is the case, but I don't think that it's that simple. Mm-hmm. Um, I think I saw another. Uh, I heard another I- idea that maybe the each head has a different personality of Orochi. Oh, he was sick of that personality. Maybe. Yeah. That's another take on it. That Kaido killed that personality and it's wants like, to use a different one. Yeah. But then it's like, does Kaido even know that's how his fruit works? Because no one's chopped his head off before. Mm-hmm. But let's say you chop his head off and then another one takes over as the main head. What you kind know, of head is what it? What kind of head is it? Is it going to be, you know, a scheming head, a, a scary head? Because a... that one was yeah. a scary head. <laughs> yeah, he was scary headed. <laughs> yeah, he was so scared, bro. Oh, my gosh. The ghost. The ghosts are back. Now the ghosts are gone. And what you, you mean the ghosts ain't right? gone? Oh, man. Talk about all the plot twists that we've had in these past, like, ten chapters. Right. Yo, we got the paint, the paint and sip guy. Yo, he is a problem. I couldn't believe he did that, though. He is a problem. And then he pretended like his powers was whack. And then his powers turned out to be he can actually draw, right? So he drew a, he drew the whole squad with their heads off. And then on top of that, that dude, I knew something was up with that dude. Yeah. I knew something was up with that dude. I said it in one of the earlier videos. Yeah. I said, um, the guy that was the leader of the Yakuza. Okay. He, um, that plot was, I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. I think he saved the girl so she could stay alive. Yeah. I think that's the reason he sliced her. He uh, faked it. Like, watch. Watch when that video That's dope. That's dope. A lot of people didn't see that coming. That what? was like a big twist. Yo, yeah. I called it, bro. I, I called it. I was like, yo, he sliced her so he can save her. Yeah, yeah. Because a lot of these samurais are really good. Like, mm-hmm. if any samurai movie, you'll see, like, they'll stab somebody and you think that person's dead, but yeah. really they know how to stab and not hit any and of not hit anything. organs. Like a clean wound. And that makes sense too because it's like, he's that nice, so mm-hmm. he's got to know if he kills her that he killed her. Mm-hmm. It can't be why she's still alive then, you know? And she he did it yeah. to keep her away from Orochi. Well, we knew that he was keeping her away from Orochi as soon as we saw her alive. But what I'm then saying, it was like, I knew it in the in thing. In the moment. Like, in yeah, the moment, I knew. I, I had no I idea. I knew that the only reason he's the one that stepped up. Yeah. It was so random how Orochi wasn't even, he was taking the backflip. Yeah. yeah. Like, he was taking it because he, he won her. He, yeah. So yeah. he was going to let it rock. That's true. The only reason he stepped in is because he had ulterior motives. And see, this antagonist, you know, this drawing guy, what's his name again? Conjuro. Yeah. Imagine that, bro. I, I, Yo, straight out your mind, you can draw it. I don't know what I draw. I draw some really good looking money. Yeah. And just go get real money for it. Just... Some, some real counterfeit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you got to be really on point with that. His paintbrush yeah. too big. Yo, the <laughs> thing is, when he draws stuff, yeah. what's their personality? That Does he control them? That's a great question. A lot of people right now trying to wonder that, right? Mm-hmm. Because these people that he drew are the scabbards. Mm. Just without their heads. So does that mean their fighting style is the same yeah does that mean they talk and behave the same well they can't talk there's no head but like does that mean they behave the same yeah does that mean they have the same special abilities but i feel like at the very least they gotta have some personality yeah because i watched a separate video and i forgot who was talking about this maybe brago but effectively like if you look back to when he drew the little the little animal, stupid bird, the or stupid, stupid bird, yeah, the, thing. The, the thing that, yeah, the that crawling thing. I forgot because they like fell in love with that little, that little yeah. monster man, and he had a little personality, like yeah, the did. little, the little animal had. He was something. tired as hell. Yeah, yeah, climbing up the dang, that dang on uh, elephant. And they was looking at him like he was one of the one of the click, one of the squad, mm-hmm. like when like he just Momo cousin. Yeah. <laughs> hey yo, Momo got turned into a dragon. <laughs> Yo, did Mo? All right, so hold up. Is did Momo eat a devil fruit or did he eat a smile fruit? He ate a smile. So he ate a smile and it went good for him. He went. He was the luckiest smile fruit eater of all time. Cause not only did he get the best freaking zone, a dragon. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He got Kaido's in smile. All right, so you get a smile. Yeah. You become a gifter. 
right? Not necessarily. Not necessarily. But if it works. if it, No, I'm saying yeah. if you get a smile and become a gifter. Yeah. Like if you get the gift. Yeah, yeah. You become a gifter. So exactly. he's a gifter. He's a gifter. Yeah, he's technically But he a gifter. just acts like he surprisingly got Kaido's yeah. smile. I'm mad that uh, Kanjuro messed him up like that, though. That's kind of rude. True. He whooped his little behind. But back to that smile, though. Go ahead. That's a great point you bring up. Because mm-hmm. I remember back in, uh, in Punk Hazard. Mm-hmm. When they ran the experiment on Momonosuke, the reason why they blew his cover was because he got the dragon fruit. And he was like, and that's why Caesar was like, oh, Kaido's going to want to see this guy, this kid, because that fruit was. Yeah. And it actually foreshadowed what Kaido's fruit was. Mm, they do a lot of foreshadowing. Man, like that song. was like 600, 700 or so. Yeah. And they were like, yeah, Kaido's going to really be interested in this kid because look at what fruit he got. But he's going to be interested in this kid yeah, regardless. Regardless. But we didn't know that back then. Yeah. And, of course, Caesar didn't know that either. He didn't know who the hell Momonosuke was. Mm-hmm. That's interesting, man. Oda's a, Oda's a problem, man. Oda's a... Super problem, bro. Super problem. That's like, crazy. The way he writes is ridiculous. It's crazy, man. It's all connects. Yeah. yeah. What mm-hmm. you saying about... Yeah. Um, um, all right. So, we was talking about the devil fruit. Talking about Oh, Oda. he beat Momonosuke up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah, said, yeah, what did yeah, he, he say? Yeah. He said he had a knife. He was trying to get away. Yeah. And what, did he cut him or something? Uh, he cut him on the hand. Cut him on the hand. That may mess up how he draws. That's what people were saying. Like, So people were pointing out the fact that why would you show this small cut? Like, mm-hmm. What is this small cut on your right hand? That's right near the index finger. Right? It's going to be, oh, right hand. A lot of people would write yeah. right with their right. What if the blade was poisoned? Or why Ooh. are you like imposing this? Like if it's not a big well, Look at that fist coming down injury. on that little kid. <laughs> That ain't right. <laughs> that ain't right. I'm a person that believes that if your kid get out of line, they might need a little spanking, right? Yeah. That's what I believe, and that's how I was raised, and I came out to be a good kid, I think. Mm-hmm. Now, punching a kid in the head is not the way. If the kid stabbed you. Do you know the way? <laughs> <Nah>. <laughs> I'm just saying. Look at him. Closed fist coming down on this kid's head. He threw the whole body into that punch, too. I do not look forward to seeing this when they, when they do too. it in the anime. Right? That's going to be sad. That's going to be anime. mad That's going to be sad. They're going to skip that part. Yeah. Nah, they might not. They've been, they've been stretching out all the Lord. scenes now. I think I'm gonna... <laughs> Speaking of, the scene they stretched out that everybody's really hype over oh, was man. the uh, the um, the Zoro versus... Uh, the blind swordsman? Not the blind oh, one. Okay. I got hype. Kamazo, that was his name. So Kamazo, as you know, is actually killer, right? Oh yeah. And that was like the big reveal. But when they fought Kamazo, they didn't know who Kamazo was, and that they gave him the smile fruit, and it failed, and they brainwashed him. Yeah, that was a good battle, right? Mm-hmm. But that fight in the anime is fire. And that's when the little uh, the bear looking dude came out. The little yeah, uh, the tall Ewok looking dude. The t- <laughs> He came out of nowhere looking like he's trying to save the forest. And it's funny because he's a fox, Mm -hmm. but it's like he looks like an animal. I don't know why I didn't put that together real time, but to find out that he was actually the fox that was with um, the fish man here back in the day, that's the same fox. That's why he's collecting the the weapons till today. Yeah. yeah. You missed that part? Yeah, I missed that part. Yeah. I didn't put that together. That's crazy because yeah. I was wondering what happened to that extra guy. Like, who's this extra guy? So the extra... So like basically when um, the fox the fox dude was the actual fox that was following around the scabbard that's the cat. I know, but I, was, I forgot his name. I forgot too. his name. I'm mad I forgot his name. There's so many names every so chapter. So many... Every, yo, mad characters, bro. Every chapter we're supposed to remember all these names. <laughs> We'll call him the Kappa. Lucky I remember Momo. Right? Momo was getting all the love. Yo, Momo is, he's the luckiest little kid in the world, man. Yo, yeah. You get a dragon fruit. First of all, a smile worked for you. That's already like a one in ten chance. Yep. Second of all, you got the illest smile. You could fly with your smile. You could probably shoot fireballs when you once grow you up. Learn. Yeah, once you learn. Heir to the throne. Heir to the throne. You could speak to the Zunisha. You're basically... Mm, you, you can. You're, you're basically... <laughs> Wow. Your daddy's like the goat. Facts. Everybody loves right? Like everybody loves the goat. 
And but you, at the mm-hmm. same time, while being the luckiest, you've went through a lot of sad stuff. That's true. Your dad's dead. Your mom's dead. You just got your face beat to a pole. Damn, yeah, you brought this back to reality. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, <laughs> but I'm just saying we got to talk about everything. We gotta, yeah, we got to talk about it. And I'm it. just like, he does, it's yeah. lit if he didn't have to go through everything he had to go through true. to get to it. True, Because think about the fact of somebody shoving a smile fruit down your throat. That's true. You don't even know where it's going to go. They, gonna they, go. They, you might be stuck without emotions for yeah, a while. For, you know what I mean? For, yeah. For people, mad long. Yo, and the people of that town don't have emotions anymore nah. because they just be eating smile fruit. <laughs> I'm so hungry. I just oh. need to eat a smile fruit again. <laughs> ah, man. What if one of them accidents... No, and they only gave him the bad ones. Only... It wasn't like the people could get a I... smile and rise up. Well, I don't know if they know what are the good or the bad ones. Well, they gave him all the stuff that was already bitten. Oh, yeah. So they yo, know it's bad. They, they know they, it's They ain't bad. giving out no good devil fruits. <laughs> <laughs> they yo. just gave him straight... Bad devil fruit. They did them. Dirty. Y'all want the scraps? Take the scraps. Take the scraps. Eat this fruit. Take the failures. And they like, shoot, we hungry. <laughs> Thanks, Orochi. And they got mad food. They waste food on yeah. the daily. Yeah. Queen be eating mad food. Queen is too much. I, I want to see. I found out the other day which Oshiruku was actually red bean soup. Oh, okay, okay. Like, they damn. really love it. Yeah, I'm like, damn, really you love, love it that much? I don't love red bean yeah, soup yeah, that yeah. much. Like, what? I don't really like no soup that much. Yeah, me neither. Yeah. Be, bring it out. Yeah. Like, bring more. Right? Like I can see how Big Mom was bugging over Crokenbush. Like that's nice. That's 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 mm-hmm. a that's a pastry. Like mm. you know. Yeah, but even pastries I can't eat too much of. But if I guess I'm if I'm Big Mom or Queen, I'm just fat. Yeah, I used to cool. like eating stuff. Yeah. Then I started Sweet doing stuff. my workout stuff and my training montages. Build it up. All them gains. Started lifting weights with my teeth like Zoro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, know, you never know when you're gonna need to hold something with your teeth. <laughs> Yeah, you know how much you could save, like time you could save by just grabbing those extra bags of groceries with your teeth? That's actually true. Gotta try that. <laughs> Gotta try that. From now on, every day I'm doing 20. Do my laundry bags. 20, 20 pound reps. Arg. Bro, your teeth would never fall out. They probably would fall out right away as soon as I did it. Well, yeah, if you work your way I'll probably up. go to do it and leave my teeth on the ground. <laughs> Talking about building them up. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> imagine, Bro. imagine somebody walking in on you, yeah. doing it, or imagine doing that in the gym when the gym works, where it opens back up. Oh, you you got the curl bar in your mouth. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. I ain't seen one piece. Right. And then you, you gotta, then you gotta hit somebody with it, and they hit you, you back and block <laughs> and block, and they hit you back. If I try to block somebody's sword swing with a sword in my mouth. Pause. Oh man! Ah, they break my jaw. Probably the lower half of my jaw would, would just, just be come sagging. off. Let's talk about what happened at the end of this fight. So okay. Ki- so Kiku rushed in. Okay. Kiku rushed in, and at the end of the whole fight, we see her basically crying. Mm-hmm. And the news about nine eighty six or nine eighty seven actually is. The new editor. So first of all, they hired a new editor. Oh man! Your own game. Don't you know, be so, messing up right? a good thing. So, so they hired a new editor, and I think that Oda wanted the new editor to be more edgy. Mm. Maybe I'm. That's just my theory. Because like, if this if this Orochi stuff is true, mm-hmm. and he's dead, then it's like, all right, now we know why you put the new editor. Because it's like you want to be able to kill people and not retract it. You know what I mean? Yeah, it only took him 985 chapters. 90, exactly, exactly. I'm tired of seeing people that are more alive. Alive. Why yeah. you ain't let Ace come back to life? Right. That's rude. Which Hell is Pedro alive. Pe- Pedro was the mink who blew up fighting Candyman. Oh, He took yeah, Candyman's was... arm. But that's fair only because <laughs> his time was coming. True. And he was able to choose when he wanted to die. Yeah. So I think I... I thought that was a very honorable death. Oh, facts. Very, very sad for me because I really started to yeah. like him. Like he was one of the <coughs> swaggy. Mm-hmm. He was swaggy, and he had like you know, oh yeah, Everybody they all had that Three Musketeers Pedro. thing. Yeah, going on. yeah, yeah. He was like D'Artagnan. <clears throat> but the thing with Pell was Pell was swaggy. Pell did the honorable thing, mm-hmm. but he brought Pell back. And that don't make no sense. It don't make no sense. He had a whole bomb exactly on himself, mm-hmm. holding it, carrying it. If y'all can see Ty right now. Yeah. <laughs> flying up in the air. Whoosh. Whoosh. Flying oh, up in the man. air looking like he ate a sad smile fruit. Yeah. 
and then blew up. He had his whole sad spiel to talk about. For real. N- next time we see him, he in a hot tub kicking it. Yeah. For y'all, man, whoever whoever don't like Pell coming back, just leave it in the comments. Just 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 spread the word. Maybe Oda will see this video. And I love Pell, but Pell shouldn't be here. Pell should not be here. If we gotta lose Ace, we should be allowed to lose Pell too. Mm-hmm. And Pell, if you out there and you listening, I feel like I'm glad you're alive, but I don't get how you did it. And until he explains it, he needs to explain it. He needs to explain himself. Older needs to explain. Pedro could have used that it. work. Yeah. Pedro could have used that work. They could have told that. That sentence. magic bomb on, escape. Man. Yeah, magic bomb escape <laughs> technique. Oh, speaking of which, something random. The admirals. Let's go with them. So, you know they had the big battle on Duke. The Duke Hazard. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, Punk Hazard, <laughs> right? Um, but Kizaru. Yo, I just fought him on World Seeker. It was pretty hard. It was fun. Rightfully so. But like High you know, key, I think Kazaru is mad underrated. Uh, high key, yo. But he underrates himself. He underrates His himself. His swag is underrated. Yeah. yeah. Like he just, oh yeah. <laughs> Guess I'm gonna fight now. <laughs> this is my nephew. Right. His his devil food is fire. It's not it's fire, the, it's light. It's the best but it's fire. one. <laughs> yo. It's hotter than fire. Yeah. Hotter than magma. Sheesh. Is he like the sun or is he just light? He's light. But, but light could heat up. Yeah. See what he did in them trees? He went off. Took out a whole but ass redwood. Silver's Riley. Yeah, well, you know. Can't you can't that's that's a classic Stopped scene. Him with I a love sword. that scene, man. I love Yo, that. That whole out. fight sequence. And that's all hockey. That's maybe that's what Pell did. Hockey. <laughs> I hope so, man. It's got to be hockey. Bro. <laughs> it's got to be hockey. There's no yeah. other way that Pell could have survived that without yeah. hockey. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> if he, he knew hockey, he might not then, even have known it. Yeah. Maybe he unleashed it when he in thought he moment, was going to die. That's true. Hockey does bloom in stressful mm-hmm. situations. He was stressed. Maybe he unleashed that armament hockey just in time. Mm-hmm. Oda could definitely retcon Pell's survival with hockey. Yep. You can do just, any, and, anybody and, that survived anything ever hockey. Now, Luffy, when he was about to get his head cut off. Mm hmm. He would have just died. He would have just died. Because yeah. he wasn't stressed at all. That's true. He was actually calm. So the stress unlocks it, but he used his observation because he was actually calm. And Mihawk actually said that, like, oh, you could be calm and collected after he realized that he used future sight on him. That's what I think. Oh. Basically in the in the Marine Ford War. Okay, remember when okay, he was yeah, gonna yeah. hit Mihawk and and he was like, wait. And he shot his hands into the ground because his arms was gonna get cut off by Mihawk. Oh, that was that was a foreshadow of Luffy having future sight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Already. That's crazy. So I think that Mihawk also has future sight. Yeah, and he would, seems like a guy that would. And realized like, oh, Luffy, Luffy just used future sight, and he said, oh, you can be calm, and that trickled all the way to the Katakuri fight, when Katakuri was like, yeah, the only way you could use this is if you're calm and collected. Mm, the bars, foreshadowing is real. It's crazy how you be knowing real. all that stuff. It's so deep. Like one piece is so deep. So it's deep. Just, it's like it's. I don't know. It's very well written, but I think um, it can be analyzed like in on a college level course. Like because in all the stuff I learned in college yeah. and all like um, my major is American studies with a minor in Africana studies, and it's like. We learned how to analyze stuff. Mm-hmm. One Piece can really be analyzed. You can analyze it. You can compare it to the culture. Yep. You can compare the names. Mm-hmm. What does this name mean? Why is um, this guy moonwalking? Mm-hmm. Why is he acting like Michael Jackson? <laughs> what is going on? You know what I mean? Um, like even I saw something the other day, right? It was like, oh, how Blackbeard and Whitebeard are both like half of one character so like you know how edward newgate okay. yeah so the real name of the pirate was edward teach blackbeard's mm. the real pirate blackbeard his name was edward teach mm-hmm. so you have marshall d teach being half of the real blackbeard and then edward newgate being whitebeard being whitebeard's name so like even that little thing like oda be yo oda mm-hmm. is the goat man. yo and i watched uh some of the show Black Cells, mm-hmm. and I've played uh, the Assassin's Creed games with the pirate ships. Oh, yeah, yeah. And it's crazy to see that these real places, real pirates, are all real things. Not everything that happens, but the cool similarities and the nuances and yeah. the things that they take from real pirates and put in these shows is yep. pretty cool. Yeah, man. The names of ships. Oh, all yeah, that kind yeah, of stuff. yeah. The Moby Dick. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, man, like, there was this one video uh, that was real cool. I think uh, O'Hara made it. Um, and it was about how Shanks is going to be, like, the main person in Elbaf, right? Mm -hmm. And he explains why. And he's like, oh, well, Shanks represents, like, one of the Norse mythology people that happened in Ragnarok. Mm -hmm. and oh, yeah, you were saying yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, it just added up, bro. You got to watch that video. I'm going to send it to you. Yeah. Um, and it's like how Blackbeard represents the three-headed dog that's in the Ragnarok mythology. Mm -hmm. And obviously Blackbeard has fruits. the three devil fruits. He, his flag is the three skulls. So he's a three-headed dog that kills the hero, which is Shanks, which is all based on North mytho Norse mythology. Mm -hmm. That's why Shanks is going to be in Elbaf. So Shanks is supposed to die. Mm -hmm. And we. so what happens... In the mythology, because if this person kills the Shanks character in the mm -hmm. mythology, mm -hmm. who's the person that kills the three-headed dog? True. Now, is True. this three-headed dog like Cerberus? It's like the... Uh, is it the Cerberus? Guards God. the gates of hell? We're going to talk about this video, yeah. but this was a classic. Shouts to O'Hara. If y'all mm -hmm. guys should subscribe to O'Hara, definitely yeah. go subscribe and that's if you haven't already. a great name. I yeah. keep saying it every time we yeah. talk about it, but that is a fire name. Right. Man. If I created my YouTube when I knew more about One Piece, yeah. that's the name to go with. That name. Especially trying to build a library of things for people to come check true, out. True, true, Yeah, true. that's perfect. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But that's yeah. some good an analysis. I would love to too. collaborate with O'Hara, man, and yeah. uh, and who else? Uh, All those guys. Uh, Mr. Morge. <laughs> Mr. Morge. Mr. Morge be having yeah. fire. Mr. Morge be having fire. Like, it, from that historical, analytical approach, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Those guys be on it. Like um, the video of the sun. Yeah. Yeah, and how they bring sunlight to everywhere. Exactly. They, go, they clear up the darkness. Yep. Thousand that sunny. Cool. Yep. Yeah. Bringing the dawn. And that's all we see. And they're slowly building the Straw Hat Grand Fleet on land and on sea. That's true. That's so true. So when it comes time, which is the time is coming, and when they reveal whoever's sitting at the head of the world government, he's going to be a savage. I think whoever yep. he really is, we're going to be surprised. I think I have a few but not ideas. Surprised. I have a few ideas on him. Mm -hmm. So I've heard this floated around, not necessarily in a video, I don't think. So excuse me if I've taken some ideas. But I think that he was probably one of the few people who was operated on with the OP OP no me. Oh wait, that's the one where you live forever. Remember mm -hmm. Doflamingo knew the rare secret about the OP OP no me. Yeah. Right? Why would he know the rare secret about that? Because he's one of the Celestials. Celestial dragons. And the Celestials are tied to Eam. Mm. So Eam must know the secret, and the Celestial Dragons must know the secret about Eam and how he had the OPOP. -OP. He found that out and was like, oh, I'm going to go find that fruit too and be the next Eam yeah. and live forever. And that's what Doflamingo was trying to do. So wasn't Law the one that, uh, did he use it on him? Yeah. Remember Doflamingo was saying something about that? Yeah, yeah. The but he was also you know saying that yeah. that person that uses it dies. So, like, the immortality move that the devil fruit gives you, that's the one that kills the user. But it grants the person who got performed on the surgery to live forever. So, that's Doflamingo gave Law the fruit, and Law accepted the fruit, knowing that's what Doflamingo wanted him to use it for, because he knew that it could save himself. Because he could just operate on himself and heal himself. I think that's how... If I might be wrong about that. So, Law has it. Law has the fruit. And he can keep using it on himself. He can use it on himself to operate on himself to heal himself. So, remember when he put his arm back together after mm -hmm. Doflamingo? Yeah, that was crazy. And he wasn't a, even sweating it. Nah, because he knew I could just operate on myself. Doflamingo probably knew too. Exactly. Now, the thing is, for my question is, if he takes that same thing um if he heals luffy let's say he has yeah. to heal luffy he dies if he uses the immortality surgery on luffy he dies so let's say if luffy's about to die if luffy's about to die and he and no normal surgery can work and he has to use that that power of the devil fruit of the op op no me mm -hmm. if he uses that power of the op op no me then law will die and luffy will live forever so Doflamingo was rare in law to use it on to him. use it on himself. So he was rare in law to kill himself. To kill himself, but he was like, "Hey, you could live now and save yourself. Just eat this fruit." Mm. So Law always knew what his what fate his was. fate was, and that's why he was trying to get out of Doflamingo's control, which he did. Which, which he is did. Phenomenal. Exactly. That that whole sequence is fire, and I think Eam 
probably because again how would they know that there's such a power somebody had to get operated on somebody mm-hmm. has to be living forever it's got to be this dude right because he's running the world if he's running the five elder stars yeah and i can't wait because i know the five elder stars oh. i know when they let us see them fight oh man. it's gonna be crazy yeah that bro. one dude that got the staff i know that's a sword and if it's not a sword he gonna use hockey when it's said and done yeah. him and zoro are gonna go at it and I hope he doesn't find Brooke because we don't got time for that. He's gonna be out of control. I don't know what these guys got, but if they're if they're given the admiral, they orders, have battle. They have battle scars. Some yeah, of them. yeah, a lot of them. They're not corny people. Yeah. Yep. Look at them. They look like back in my day. I used to scrappy scrappy. To- <laughs> 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 look at that mustache and beard, bro. You don't get a mustache and beard like that without a fight. Nah. Savagery. Yeah. No, there it's gonna yo, Luffy's gonna fight him, and hopefully the rest of them will be ready to fight these other five. I don't even know like Zoro's gonna be ready for that sword dude by the time that comes. True. I know it. I true. know it. Oh yeah. I know Zoro will be ready. Oh yeah. I'm trying to see what the other four powers are because sword that's obvious. Zoro. Yeah, exactly. Who can shoot? I feel Who's like, a robot? I feel like he's gonna be Sanji's opponent. The the blonde. Oh one. yeah, he's and got the limp. And they're both in the like kind of swaggy suit mm-hmm. too. That's gonna be a nice battle. Look at that dude with his hands. Yeah, that that he might, might be that Frankie? might be a Frankie. Yeah, yeah I was thinking right. <laughs> yeah. He gonna be put your hands together. Show me your moves. Right, right. So this might, if Yamato joins, just to bring it back to the current, okay. If oh, that Yamato they might join joins, the crew. She'll be she'll be going against club dude probably. Okay, because maybe that's a sword type thing too. Maybe maybe it's just a club. I don't know. It probably is on some like Iron Mace Alveda type stuff. Yeah. Because she's just using the club, right? And when just you got like hockey, anything's a weapon. Anything's a Your weapon. Your finger. Yeah. That's true. We saw that with the CP9. Mm-hmm. And some of the savages people of all time. Yeah, man. Do you think Yamato's going to join? Who's going to be the one to join, man? Who's going to be the one to join? All right. I'm going to say Jinbei. Well... <laughs> 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 easy. It's easy. That's a cop. Honestly, That's a cop out. I feel like it's going to be... She did ask. She asked, yeah. Luffy's going to say yes to that. You think so? What I think is a plot twist is if two people join. That would be. I don't think any of the scabbards are going to join. Yeah, because they got to work hard. Un- That's unless their job. Momonosuke goes with the Straw Hats as the cabin boy. Because mm. remember how Shanks was the cabin boy and Momonosuke was learning swordsmanship from, from Zoro. That'd so be that'll be fire if he goes, follows his father's footsteps, mm-hmm. leaves Hiyori to run Wano, and okay. one of the scabbards comes along to protect Momonosuke. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, I'm going to come chaperone you, like like freaking uh, uh, Kinemon or something like yeah, that. Yeah, like, I was thinking of him too. I feel like if I was a writer, I would feel like I'd leave them too. Yeah. I think it's dope, the idea. Maybe... Yeah. Zoro goes back one day. Yeah. Or they just say, nah, not right now. You know, true, Luffy hits true. a shanks on him. True. Like, hey, not this time. Yo, if Luffy, Luffy wanted to hits be, a shanks on you know, Momonosuke, yo, that would be classic. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't think, I don't, you see shanks, yeah, he was a cabin boy, but yeah. whatever he went through made him tell Luffy to wait. You know what I'm That's saying? That's true. Whatever he went through made him tell Luffy well, to wait. Or what if Zoro hits Momonosuke with a shanks? That would be Luke, that's what I think is going to happen. Yeah. Because they have more of a bond. Yeah, they have more of a bond. Yeah. And Luffy wouldn't give up his straw hat, but maybe Zoro could give up, like, a sword or something. Like, yeah, he could yeah. give up one of the... the or trade swords. Yeah. He they could trade swords. He could probably say, hey, look, I'm going to use your father's swords until you're ready to use them. Because he mm-hmm. got one of them, and Zoro has Enma. Yeah, because so the if, girl gave it to him. Exactly. So what if Momonosuke gives him the other sword... Um, and that, then he gives him something. And he gives him maybe the curse sword. Like, yo, once you master this curse sword, then you're ready. Because mm. remember, he got the curse sword that is like yeah, hard that to tame. Fire, yeah, bro. Zoro's cool. definitely leaving with some good swords. He's leaving. I mean, he's already got Emma. That's yeah. that's already enough. But what I'm trying to see is if he gets the better version of the um, the Sandai. So there's the Sandai mm-hmm. Kitetsu, the mm-hmm. Nidai Kitetsu, and then the I'm guessing it's the uh, what's one. Ichi, mm. Ichi Dai Kitetsu. Oh, okay, okay. Right, um, Sandai is the one he has now. That's the third, the third best. Okay. But they showed already in the manga that the guy who made the Kitetsus, he had the Nidai on the him. Second one. The second one. The second. Uh, so he could give him the Nidai and be like, "Yo, 
train with this until you get back. I don't know. It, it could be yeah, a lot of ways it goes. Yeah. It could be a lot of ways it goes. I'm trying to think who else. I don't think none of the Red Scabbers are going to go, like you said. Yeah. I think it's either going to be Kaido's daughter mm-hmm. or Momo. Momo. But I don't yeah. think Momo's going to go because he has a kingdom to run. Yeah. And I feel like that's going to override that. Possibly, but then it's like he's a kid. And no he, one even knows he's alive. He's a kid, but the only way to get the kingdom back is yeah. to have the heir be there. True. You know what I'm you saying? You got Hiori, too. You're right. She could run it. You're, I believe that. Yeah. But their their world isn't as forward thinking as True. Uh, Alabasta. Yeah. Or somewhere you're like right. that. You're right. Where so, a woman could run the show. Exactly. Yeah. So they're going to need a, 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 male, a male heir for now. I was going to say a mink. Yeah. A mink. And after Pedro, it's not many to choose from. Yeah. You know yeah. What I mean? yeah, there's a few other, but not really main characters mink. that we've seen. Yeah. I think it could be Carrot Carrot or... Uh, if both of them Kaido's. join. But I think that would be a good plot to us, two people. So but if they give us two people, yeah. they may take somebody from us. That's what I'm saying. They may take somebody from us. Because he's really setting up both Carrot. Like, a lot of the community thinks it's going to be Carrot or Yamato. Mm-hmm. Maybe Momonosuke. He's a runner-up. And maybe one of the scabbards. But a lot of people are not leaning towards the scabbards for the reason you said. And, like, they're looking at it like, okay, well, both of them can't join because then it's a mismatch, right, with mm-hmm. Blackbeard's crew. Blackbeard's crew got 11 people. So mm-hmm. the 10 Titanic captains plus Blackbeard, that's 11. Right now, Luffy got 10 people, including himself. So he only needs one more yeah. to match up perfectly so with Blackbeard. Die. So somewhere, somebody could die. And then they get Carrot and... Uh, Yamato, or just one of them can join, or or something random like a little kid sneaks on. If Momonosuke could sneak on. I, I feel like I feel like he'll sneak on, and he wouldn't count. He could be the twelfth member, but he'll be a cabin boy. He won't be fighting a Blackbeard captain. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, Hope not. so that makes sense. Yeah, you know. And I was watching a video about like what if Carrot joins the crew and stuff like that, and like what would Yamato do as a crew member? And it makes sense. Like Carrot, she was all like jumping around real high like her and pedro would get to high lengths really quickly Mm -hmm. and always be on this on the on the masthead and whatever or always be on like with the um where the sails are what is that part of the ship called where the sails Um, are it's not the mass i don't know well she was going up there with pedro back in the day so she could be the lookout she could be the crew lookout Mm. because she could jump but then uh, around i agree but what about what about uh usap he's the guy that looks True. Yeah, he he, he's like the de facto. He not he don't just look. He could look and take it out. And take it out at the same time. That's true. That's you true. Know what I mean? And then now he's got the hockey, mm. that deep hockey too, so he could see far. That's true. Mm-hmm. So it might not be because like what would her role be, right? Because every character needs a backstory. They need some a role. Like we got Brooke because he does music. Exactly. You know exactly. What I mean? um, and they gotta have the sad backstory too. Mm-hmm. That's part of it. We don't know Carrot's backstory. She doesn't have a sad backstory. Like Yamato got the sad backstory. But then, I think Yamato would be good only because of the the plot twist of it all. Yeah. The fact that like um, we were facing off against these pirates and yeah. now we have this person. Exactly. But here, you ready for this one? Nah. W- w- Dog tooth. Nah, nah. He's you too. Think he's so. He's too OP, bro. Nah. Oh, I'm saying. I'm again, saying it's a movement. Again, Luffy got a movement. He do, and 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 that's that goes back to what we were talking about before, mm-hmm. like with the the big mom pirates splitting. Yeah. Because a lot of them like category, mm-hmm. and a lot of them just blindly follow big mom. Mm-hmm. So I feel like the older ones, the more competent ones, tend to go with Katakuri, right? Like Perispero, he thinks so himself. Like anybody who thinks for himself, I think, would not just join this alliance, right? Smoothie was like, yeah, whatever Big Mom says, I'm doing. And then mm-hmm. Perispero was like, nah. That's why. That's probably why he left and he's on his own now. He was just mm-hmm. in the middle of the ocean on his own. Like, why wasn't he with the crew? They probably was like, get out of here. tired of getting knocked down. Yeah, yeah. I mean, but then it's like, why are you not with the rest of the crew, though? You know, like they must have had a fallout yeah. of some of some kind. He's not on the ship. He's just on a candy monster riding in the ocean. Mm-hmm. So, so, so somebody kicked him out. Mm-hmm. Somebody was like, "Get out of here!" Probably smoothie. So I'm thinking it'll be like the smoothie group and the big mom group versus the category group. The big candy pirates. <laughs> the sweet, sweet pirates. Yeah. <laughs> the mochi pirates. I don't know. Yeah, they they might like be. That. They might be the mochi pirates, but. Um, the pirates formerly known as Big Mom. Right. 
No, that's funny as hell. Uh, and in that case, I think they could. I think Katakuri would be like a good ally, mm-hmm. like a allied ship kind of thing, or maybe like mm-hmm. an allied country. Like, mm-hmm. like what if? I think Big Mom's coming to a close. How? I feel like Kaido could cut her head off as fast as he cut off. Oh no, nah. Orochi's head. He would have did that already. You're right, but the thing is, sometimes you got to get your enemy's guard down. True. He knows her. He like knows, he knows her. himself. Yeah, that's true. You know true. what I mean? There's no telling they what's together. about to happen. They was on the same crew. He going to mess around and... Yeah, who do you think is going to betray them? Because one of them is going to betray each other. Kaido. Kaido's going to betray Kaido Big Mom first, savage. right? Yeah. 100 Beast Pirates? Yeah. <laughs> Best name ever, first off. Facts. Second off, this man created Devil Fruits. Facts. He figured out a way to get somebody to create devil fruits mm-hmm. or found it out about it on the black market and put his best foot forward to make sure he was the one copping on Copping them, yeah. He had a factory. <laughs> Yo, that's true. He, the name of his pirates is the 100 Beast Pirates. Yeah. That's already 100 devil fruits. Yeah, yeah. That's wild. That's wild. The idea of that is not even, it's next level. Yeah. To come up with that idea. Yeah. You break off from the Kaido, Rocks Pirates. Kaido, Kaido's crew is without a doubt the most competent crew we've seen yet. Without a doubt. And they were settled on Wano for a while. For mad long. Now they're talking about the world. Now they're talking. That's because the world is changing. That's because the world is changing. The I world agree. is changing. You have to have bigger goals. Mm-hmm. You have to have bigger goals because if you don't, they're coming for you. You can't just sit in your territory no more. No more. All because of what happened with Whitebeard. And yeah. that Blackbeard just a savage. Blackbeard, he's building his group. He's going to be the best group soon. Yeah. Very and soon. they're letting him become that. They're letting him like because they're just like, sleeping. It's like you're sleeping or either you're scared. They sleeping. You think they're sleeping? They're sleeping because they're worried about the Shichibukai situation, mm. and they're worried about the Big Mom and Kaido situation. So when you compare Blackbeard to that, it's like all right. You now, gotta... I'm talking about the pirates too. Oh, you, I thought you were talking about the Marines. Nah, the Marines. I feel like they generally know everything. Yeah, they generally have a take good idea yeah. of what they want to do and when they want to do it. When they want to do it, yeah. Um, so I'm. I don't think I would ever worry about the Marines because the Marines are always going to have a backup or an answer. Mm-hmm. Even if it is making pirate alliances, even if it is Shichibukai, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. you know what I mean. But now that the Shichibukai is gone, and they're doing the SSG thing, which we got to talk about, and we got to talk about uh, sword. Is that the name of it? Oh, yeah. We got to talk about Sword, too. I think it's funny that it's not called Shield, like uh, Avengers. Yeah, no. Well, there is a Shield. There is a Shield. Okay. Cyberpole Aegis Zero. CP Zero's nickname is Aegis, which yeah, means yeah. Shield. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, yeah. If you look up the word... Sword and Shield. Yeah, yeah. It's yep. like Pokemon. Yep. That's crazy. Yep. That's pretty cool, though. They, they doing the thing. He, he just, thought up, yo, Oda's... He can't even theorize yeah, nothing because he got it all planned out. He got it all planned if out. If we actually found out which mythology story... If we found out whose hero's journeys yeah. Luffy was on, we yeah. know the whole story. We know the whole story. We I do. feel like, bro, and it's it's kind of in your face. It's like, why did he call this the Aegis? Mm-hmm. Why did he call Cyber Fold the Aegis? They're well, trying to protect him from something. Exactly. So the, the sword... But the sword is out here is out here attack. Attack. Something. Exactly. Exactly. So one is more low key, behind the scenes, protective, mm-hmm. protect the. But the crazy thing is, sword is low key more behind the scenes than yeah, shield than cyber. Yeah, exactly. And that's because you know CP nine already messed up. Already messed up. You know what I mean? So, exactly. And you know how they do things. Mm-hmm. They do things dirty. So ages, they gonna do things dirty. Yep. It's only a matter of time. Um, but the sword people are all people that I think would rock with Aokiji. I think so. I you think, I th- and that's a whole nother thing, bro. I think Alki G is low key sword. Mm. I think he's low key sword. I think, I think that that whole fight, yeah, between him and Akainu was basically a way for them to get into Blackbeard. Because I think between the two of them, mm-hmm. like they must have fought for real, but then afterwards came to an agreement. Like, all right, in the, for the sake of sword, you're gonna go pretend to not be a marine anymore so you could get in with this blackbeard guy because i know a kainu is looking at blackbeard like this man's gonna be a problem like a kainu is focused on blackbeard because mm-hmm. he was so focused on whitebeard and, and now who has whitebeard's fruit so you got to think a kainu's making plans like all right i gotta get someone planted in blackbeard's crew aokiji that's cool my only thing is i really like that moment where he was like i don't want to serve on our kainu 
But at the end of the day, he gonna do his duty. He regardless. gonna do his duty, and which I mess with. I I, I mess with that. Too. With that idea, right? I like that. I like that idea. Yeah, yeah. I like that. I like the fact that he stated it. Mm-hmm. I don't want to serve under a kainu. I wish he would have got chosen, but he can't. Nah. The way you write this, you can't let him get nah. chosen. Nah, he can't because be the main. If he gets selected, point. it changes things. It changes a lot. You know what I mean? Yeah. A kainu is just a grunt, <clears throat> to be honest. He gonna go out there and do all the dirty work that has to be done to get whatever done. Yep. Whatever the top people say, he gonna go he do gonna it. He gonna do it. Yep. That's it. Just have someone that's and and if you think about it too, like Blackbeard will know. Okay, mm-hmm. a Kainu joining my crew. Nah. Yeah. But a Aokiji. He has a, like a back and forth. Yeah, he, has he a didn't even want to kill someone. Exactly. Exactly. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. So, I think they that they knew that and and maybe. That's why they said, all right, you know what, Aokiji, you got to be the one to infiltrate Blackbeard because he's coming. Mm-hmm. And now he, he knows what's up. He's working with them. He and basically not officially a captain or whatever, but he's like an affiliate with the crew. So, And then you got uh, oh, Drake, Drake yeah. over there working with uh, Blackbeard. Yeah. I mean, not with, Blackbeard. With, with, with uh, Kaido. Kaido. Yep. That was pretty cool, too. And then when you look at it, it's like they planted someone with Kaido. Mm-hmm. They planted someone with Blackbeard. It's the way the way the world works exactly. in real life. Exactly, in real life. They, they got to plant people with the powerhouses. So I'm sure Shanks has a plant, too. Mm, no, don't say it. If you say think it about so. it. It's, it makes sense. If, it makes sense. Damn. That's a video, right? Dude, I ain't hear yo. nobody talk about that yet. Yo. Because everybody thinks Shanks' crew is so impenetrable who you think and loyal. Who you think his plan is? I don't know. It's going to be somebody in his crew, or you think it's going to be Mihawk? That'll be funny if it was Mihawk, who That's... was part of S.W.O.R.D. Yeah. Who was also ingratiating Mi- himself. Mihawk be doing a little bit of this, yeah, a little bit of that. Yeah, because why don't Mihawk have a crew? And why he But not, he's a pirate. And why he not scared right yeah. now, even though the Shichibukai gone? Exactly. You know what I mean? I mean, you're strong, but they coming after you. It's different. It's different. It's different. And you by yourself. You always well, 50, 50, 50 ships, five thousand <laughs> men. Bring it on. <laughs> you know, but that's with a poser. Mm-hmm. This, this is the Marines now. Yeah, facts. He was super poser. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> with all them weird weapons. You see, yeah, man, nah, man. Don Creek pirates. Don Creek. <laughs> Don dead pirates. <laughs> hungry, 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 broke pirates. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Yo, we should oh, probably man. wrap it up. Yeah, bro. let's wrap it up. That, that was a good discussion, man. Um, there's a whole lot in this chapter. This is one of the best chapters ever. Yeah, facts. Um, but let me point out this SSG thing soon, man. Cause, okay, yeah. Because um, he mentioned it in this chapter again. Mm-hmm. So he's talking about, like, yeah, up in our guns, getting the ancient weapons to compete with the Marines, to compete with the... Mar- and that's uh, the, what Kaido's talking that's about. That's what Kaido's mm-hmm. talking about. And he also... Uh, that oh, alliance yeah, that's is good. Here, that that's the proof that the Marine HQ is fully confident in their new force to fight against us. So here they say new force in this translation, but in other translations, um, they say they call it the SSG. So that's that's the new force mm. that's supposed to be as powerful or better than the Shichibukai. That's all going to be controlled by the Marines. And a when they introduce them, a whole bunch of Kumas, yeah, basically, or. And that's a whole video, bro. Like, yeah, I think that they may, and and this is how they can make Smoker relevant again too. Mm-hmm. He could be like one of the first experiments that Vega oh. Punk runs, and makes him like cybernetic, strong army dude, and I then up, that's a power creep for him to keep up with Luffy. Yeah, you know what I mean. I mean, it, I hope not because yeah, he's a good character. I like him. He is. He just does his job. That's but all. the SSG is entirely new. It might not be brainless. It might mm. be just like souped up now we... soldiers. If SSG alters your mind, whatever that implant is or technology that Vegapunk is developing, mm-hmm. if it's something like what they did with Kuma, then yeah, I don't I don't want Smoker to get it. But if it's something that's like a blessing, like yo, you were the few selected Marines because your service has been good and we're going to soup you up. It's not going to be a blessing though. It's gonna be a blessing. It's gonna be a curse disguised yeah. as a blessing. No matter what, they're no gonna matter what. push a button. Yeah, that's and true. Change your and mind. change you. Yeah, yeah. You'll be lucky if you if they can if you can stop that. True. You know what I mean? I don't think the Marines are shady, bro. Yeah. At that higher level. At that higher level. They're very shady. But I'm like, how how would Vega? And then yeah, actually, you can't even rely on Vega Punk because he's at their beck and call too. So mm-hmm. even if he didn't want to do that, he still got to do it. And they got dirt on him. And they got dirt on him. Yep. You're right, man. I think it might not be 
Well, in that case, yeah, I hope it's not Smoker. In that, in that case, yeah. I hope it's, I hope it's I hope just it's somebody some, we don't care about. Some random scrubs. Little axe dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, maybe he gets some powers. Yeah. Um, axe Hand Morgan. <laughs> Oh no, not Axe Hand Morgan. I wouldn't be surprised though. Yo, if they brought back Axe Hand Morgan bro, as an SSG, bro, that would be so funny. Cause he's willing to do whatever. Yeah. Axe Hand Morgan would be a good one, but the uh, the nephew of Kazaru. Oh yeah yeah people yeah like yeah. him. Sent tomorrow. Yeah yeah, yeah yeah yeah. And a few. Uh, but even he, Sent tomorrow, like he's he's got some good character moments too. So yeah. it's like. Uh, yeah, but he's part of the whole thing, so he That's was probably he like, was probably online he's first. Right there with him. Yeah, he'll probably be the leader of the Kumas now. True, like but actually have the power. True. That's true. If we gonna put brains and brawn with it yeah. together, yeah, a bunch of Frankies running around. Yo, but yeah, man, I guess we should close it up. Let's let's close it up. That's it for today. We that, barely we, we actually got through a lot of points in this chapter, but there was just so much more. Um, and yeah, hopefully we'll be having more people on. Yeah, yeah, we'll definitely have some special guests for y'all. We'll bring up some uh, some other channels, do some collabs. And uh, let us know who you want to see in the comments below. Let us know what you want us to talk about in the comments below. We'll be sure to check those comments out. Maybe even post some of those comments as we talk about those subjects. So, interact with us because we love to interact with you. Thanks for watching this one. Peace.